Justin Jefferson, one of the best receivers in the entire National Football League, proving the power of simple organic advertising. I see that awesome hoodie he was wearing with the capper to the gritty. And it's on my list to find one and buy one today. I'll probably forget, but it's on my list, at least for now. And I won't forget. And the reality is, this season, I'm looking at the numbers game by game. Justin Jefferson yeah. has one 100-yard game, 133 against the 49ers week two. He's yet to get back there. He's gotten close. He's gotten above 80 every game since then, 59 week one against the Giants. And he's right, Shereen. This offense really hasn't exploded the way that it could when all the pieces fit together and work well. Yeah, they're five and one. They've left some meat on the bone, though, especially when you look at Justin Jefferson's performance. And good morning. Good morning to you, Mike. Yeah, I, I agree. Like that offense still has some plays to be made, some points to be scored. They're 13 offensively and six in scoring, but they really haven't used Justin Jefferson like they should use Justin Jefferson, like they will use Jeff Justin Jefferson going forward. So I think he's going to have some big games coming up, but they need to use him more than what they're using him for sure, because he is the best receiver in football. I, I don't think that's a question he's the best receiver in football and you got to use him like that and if you're a quarterback you got to make sure and get it to him those one-on-one opportunities I remember that Bills game when at the fourth down play you know they Kirk Cousins throws it up to him and he makes the catch on the sideline give him those opportunities because he can make those plays one of the reasons the Steelers got things worked out Sunday night, Russell Wilson realized throw it to George Pickens. Sam yeah. Darnold needs to throw it to Justin Jefferson in key moments. That third and four, when the Vikings were a first down or two away from slamming the door on the Lions and preventing them from going down the field and winning it with a field goal, get it to Justin Jefferson. It's simple. And you have to wonder what his level of frustration might be. He's gotten his contract, $35 million a year. He's working with Sam Darnold this year. And this, and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and dust off my my favorite narrative of late. I still think they should be talking to the Rams about trading for Matthew Stafford. And this is a prime example of how I think they could get more out of Justin Jefferson. Back to the potential flip from Darnold to Stafford in Minnesota. You mentioned the possibility of locker room issues. Back to Justin Jefferson. One 100-yard game this season. I yeah. think Jefferson would be the perfect ambassador for Matthew Stafford, because he's the guy who's going to be most excited, I believe, by the upgrade, by the guy who still has great arms, still a top 10 talent. You protect him behind a good offensive line. You give him real weapons who are healthy and there, a running game. And Stafford could be as special as he's ever been. And Jefferson could be more special than ever once they get cranked up and get familiar with each other under the tutelage of Kevin O'Connell who was with Stafford in 2021 when they won the Super Bowl. Wes Phillips, the offensive coordinator in Minnesota, was with Stafford when they won the Super Bowl in 2021. Chris O'Hara, the quarterback's coach in Minnesota, was with Stafford when they won. This is the most seamless in-season quarterback transition we would ever see, and it would be an upgrade for the Vikings. And the other side of it, Darnold has surely heard the chatter. Let's see how he reacts. Let's see what kind of game he has tonight. Does he shut people like me up with the kind of performance that makes people say, yeah, we really don't need Matthew Stafford? Or does he does he prove tonight, going head-to-head -head with Stafford, that maybe they do need an upgrade? And if he can't rise up in a moment like this, you can't expect him to rise up in a moment like a playoff game. Well, Mike, the other thing is, from a Rams standpoint, if, if they lose this game – then I do think they become sellers, no question about that. And he would be a part that you you want to trade to get value for him, to get more draft picks for him. And by the way, that will make you worse, which will give you a better draft pick to draft a quarterback to rebuild. So that will speed up the rebuild for the Rams that they can do that. Shador Sanders? Why wouldn't he want to play in L.A. for Sean McVay? Big market. I That would be a perfect setting for him. And he's going to call the shots. There's no question that Shadur Sanders is going to decide where he goes. And he could decide to say, hey, the Rams are one team I would go to. And they have a high pick. They have a top five pick. 
they're there. That's where he's going. So that rebuild would be really quick for the Rams. They get a young quarterback on a rookie contract, and they have a lot of other parts behind him. So if that's what they decide to do, this makes a lot of sense from their standpoint. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.